So all I ask of you is hug your daughters, hug your children with uteruses, hug your mothers, your aunts, your grandmothers, because this is fucking terrifying. So yes, we need to step up. If you are 18 and older, sign the petition, do what you need to do, because this is time that we need to take action. This is fucking terrifying. Thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. I am fucking angry. I am so angry that I woke up today and that I do not have the right over my own body. I am so angry that that voice is being ripped away from us. I am an adopted child, and who knows what my mother would have done if she had had a choice. Adoption is not the answer. We do not offer any type of any care for children that are born or adults going through pregnancy. Our resources are so limited, and yet they want to tell us what to do when they were are not capable of putting their money where their mouth is. Yeah. I am so angry. When I look at my graduation pictures, not a single one of us wasn't a victim of sexual assault. And that is horrifying. It is absolutely terrifying that all of the people in this world are, ex are experiencing so much violence, and yet the most decent, basic human right is being taken, care taken away from us. Whoa. We are treated as if we are not capable of having a voice. We don't deserve a voice. That's what we are being told. And I am just fucking angry at, at, at the whole world right now. I'm queer. I'm transgender. I'm out here today because I'm fighting for my body um, as well as everybody else's who's here today. Um, and I just want to speak to um, our right to privacy. Um, everything that we have earned in the last 50 years through fighting, standing out here, screaming, dying, it's been for our right to make our decision in a private space about our bodies. And so, and so let's remember that when Roe v. Wade goes down, this is not the end goal of the Supreme Court. This is not the end goal. Yeah. yeah. This is the beginning. This is the yeah. beginning. Yeah. This is the beginning. The Supreme Court is going after every one of us here today. Let's remember that. It doesn't matter if you have a penis, a vagina, ovaries, testes, if you got a mixture of any or none of the above. You know, everybody out here, everybody out here, they're coming for us. And we know that. That's why we're here. Well, let's remember the intersectionality in this. The amount of people in this country who are being attacked by this legislation. The amount of people who are having their rights ripped away from them after we have all fought so hard. So hard to be here right now. They're coming for us, y'all. So we got to do something. And let's look out for our, our family members, everybody here. I'm not talking blood family. I'm talking every single person in this crowd right now. Family. Love. So when I listen to the so-called pro-life people talk, I notice that what they really want is they want us to feel ashamed. They want you to feel ashamed for getting health care. They want you to be embarrassed. They want you to not talk about it. They want you to think you've done something wrong. And so I just want to remind you that this is not and has never been about protecting children. Yeah. Because if it was about protecting children, we would have universal pre-K. We would have universal health care. We would have preschool lunches in every school in the country. And we have none of those things. So if that shame creeps in and that guilt creeps in, I just want you to remember that they do not give a fuck about your child, born or unborn. The United States has one of the highest rates of maternal mortality in the developed world. And maternal mortality is when a woman dies from a complication of pregnancy or a complication of childbirth. And it is now estimated that in the states that are going to outlaw abortion, the rate of maternal mortality will jump as much as 30 to 40 percent. We live Boo. in a country that has no universal health care. We have no universal child care. We Boo. don't have universal pre-K. We don't have universal paid family leave. And yet, we're going to tell 
people that they have to bear children, it's an injustice. And I'm old enough to remember when abortion was illegal here in Vermont and in New York State where I went to college. And I had a college friend who became pregnant. We couldn't tell her parents. We couldn't tell the college. A bunch of us college students had to raise nickels and dimes and dollar bills to send her to the Virgin Islands to have an abortion. That's how bad it was. It's horrible. We won't go back. I just want you to know I'll be 93 years old in October. And I remember, I remember all this fighting for civil rights and abortion, not for abortion, just for human rights. This has nothing to do with abortion. Nothing. This has to do with rights, the right of human beings. That's how I think. That's how I think of it. I taught over at the old St. Michael's High School many years ago, back in the 50s and 60s. I taught sociology to Senator Patrick Leahy. Yeah. I also taught him chemistry and didn't blow him up, so that's good. <laughs> but I also taught civics for 10 years. Here, yeah. and here and down in Burlington at the old Catholic High School, because I was a nun for 20 years. And I know that kind Thank of so thinking, much. that religious <laughs> thinking, which I don't carry anymore. But I respect it, yeah, and I respect the people who have it. Yeah, but they have, history. in America, we have a right not to have religion imposed on us from any source, whatever. And I think that's what it's all about right now. So get out of the fucking piss, get out of the fucking road, and don't stand on the sidewalk. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Woo! Woo! That's just fine. So what's it all about?